Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, Chip here again. Uh, another Moe 3D tutorial. Today I'm going to do a multi-part tutorial uh, on how to how to use flow to create a tire. So uh, I've sped this up 2x, but uh, the very first part is I'm just going to create the tire cross section. And as you can see, I'm using uh, uh, basically curves with soft uh, soft points here. Actually, the end points are always hard, are always hard, but the the smooth, the, the these points that we're adding are all smooth, um, and I'm in. Uh, actually, uh, I'm uh, now just trying to get kind of half of the cross cross section right, and sometimes a little bit of a trial and error kind of thing uh, as I move through this. Uh, you'll see. And what's kind of nice uh, is that uh, well, I, I mirrored that just then, removed the actual point there. Now I'm looking at it and I'm realizing eh, it's not really what I want, so I'm going to actually delete these points. Continue working on it. What I was going to say, what's nice about uh, about Moe is that once I've, because the history is turned on for this kind of thing, once I actually create this tile, I can still modify it. I'm going to show you that in a little bit. So now I'm kind of laying it out, getting my cross section kind of what I what I want. And uh, here I'll recognize that, oops, the cross section was done in the right view. I really want it to be done in the top view, so I'll just rotate things around until I get it right, which obviously <laughs> I'm having a little trouble right now. There we go. So uh, uh, now let's just go ahead and position it where I want it to be, roughly. And again, what I'm going to do is I will revolve this. Actually, let's first lay it down flat on that surface. There you go. Uh, again, I'll revolve this, uh, and as I revolve it, I'll be able to uh, modify it as I go. So uh, right now, uh, I've basically done that. I've revolved it. I've got my points still selected on my curve. Now I can just make the tire a little fatter. I'm going to tweak some of these inside areas a little bit uh, and just zoom up make sure that the tire looks like what I want it to look like and uh, there we go so that's about that looks about right so kind of a base tire basic tire um, now once I was done uh, I did something called unwrap curve just then that was a unwrap curve script what it did is it took and it took and it flattened out that particular uh, curve so uh, now I'm, what I'm doing is I'm taking that, that curve and, it, and I'm uh, going to multiply it times 2 and, and then pi pi there. And that's going to give me the overall length of the tire, right? So I, I calculated the radius of the tire by using the circle tool earlier. And now I'm going to actually extrude this down that number. Uh, let's see, 1648. And there I have it. It's extruded down. So now I've got a plane or a surface that's, that's, that's plane, and I've got this tire surface, right? Now I'm going to create some perfect cylinders. And the reason I'm creating perfect cylinders is because what I want to do is I really want to make sure that I can map kind of a cylinder to a cylinder on that tire. I want to get, the, I want to get it so that I'm, I'm going to be um, uh, proportional, the, the actual tread is going to be proportional. So I've got, I know that's the right length of the tire as it's unwrapped. And now I'm going to use, use my, uh, uh, actually let's save all these little cylinders. I used a, an array tool, uh, the direction ray tool to, to, to copy those out. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the flow tool and I'm going to flow these guys onto the tire and I can take a look at it. So here I go, click here and click there and then wait for flow to execute. And when it does execute, oh, there you go. You see, these aren't, they're not cylinders, they're not circles. So I'm like, well, what's going on here? How come, I know that, that size is exactly right, but it didn't flow right. Well, the reason why is because if you look at the points on this device, on, on the actual um, profile, and you look at the points, you know, you see that it's actually dispersing those points evenly across that, and that's creating some distortion. So what I really need to do is I'm gonna rotate these, these points out here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place other points basically other points on this line below so and then I'll mirror them across so let's go ahead and do that so I'm gonna basically add some more points to kind of match up now I don't know unfortunately it's not a script to do this but it'd be nice if there was but so I'm just kind of eyeballing it right here just basically looking at the distance between uh, where all those curves are going and all the points that have to be and uh, and you can see I'm off because that last point I added needs to be farther quite a bit farther over I believe. So I'm going to go ahead now and start adjusting these to try and match this count and make sure I got the right number. And there you go, that's the right number. So let's just move them over a little bit 
uh, and adjust them so that we're getting as close as we can visually. We don't have to be perfect here because, of course, it's not going to be the tread's going to be. We're not going to be able to tell. But I think with the circles, we'll get a better a better feeling of how this works. Once that's done, delete that last point, mirror this segment, then join those two, delete that middle point. So now we should have the exact same points. So now, once again, we go over and do that extrusion that we talked about. Uh, set the direction. Oops, there, 1648. I hit the minus key, wrong button. Let's try that again. Extrude the direction. There we go. And now move over here. There you go, 1648. Now I have the right extrusion. I can hide the curves, show my solids and surfaces. And now we should be good to go for another flow. So let's go ahead and do the flow this time, now that we have that, and you'll see. Click this part and click that part, and as we do that, uh, now you can see that the actual the actual circles are exactly they are pretty pretty much much more accurate now. They look like circles now. So that was a critical part of that is to is to rebuild that originating planar curve. Um, it'd be nice if we could figure out a way to, to automatically set those points with a script. Are you listening, Max? <laughs> or, uh, but if not, we can kind of eyeball it. So, uh, what I've done is I, I did a planer on that tire. So now I'm going to do that's a solid, and I'm just showing you how this, you know, how these are going to cut into there. Again, I'll click on the flow tool. Again, I'll put them in there. By the way, I can do flip surfaces, and I'll flip when I hit the when I hit the flip surface normal on the flow options, it pops that those in and out in a different direction. So I'll, I'll go for the little smaller direction and delete them and you can get an idea of what, what we're looking at. Although this is not exactly how we're going to build the final tire, it does give you an idea how flow works, and that's uh, uh, pretty important in terms of how we're going to set up our, our uh, ultimate um, uh, model. So, hope that, enjoy that, and uh, stay tuned for part two. Okay, thanks.